Time to give the old shitter an engine service. We've got the oil, we've got the filters, we've got the spark plugs. And them's my DRLs that I shall be fitting hopefully today as well. So I'll be nice and uh, shiny shiny. Still needs a good wash because she's minging. But then again, that's Citroen's for you. But hey, there you go. I love my little Citroen C1 van conversion. See you a bit. So I've got an old screen wash bottle that I'm going to drain the oil into. I'm going to drop the oil at the sump and then jack it up so I can get to the oil filter. The oil filter's a bit dirty but it's not completely minging. It looks like it was changed in May 2019 which is, what, three years ago next month. So yeah, it's not too bad. As these C1s and Peugeot 107s and Toyota Eagles are all the same, it's a bit strange to see a Toyota uh, the word Toyota on a Citroen. Very weird. It's only got three cylinders, so there's only three plugs to change, and there they are down in there. And it's just you take out the these little bolts that has the coil pack on, and you just pull them out, stick your socket, and change the plugs. The plugs come pre gapped, so I don't have to do anything to them, just slot straight back in. So I'm just going to take the old ones out now. Spark plugs aren't actually that bad. It's a bit cold, but not too, not too much. So I'll put the new ones in anyway. It's just unscrewed quite nice them down there. Just gotta be a bit gentle with you putting them in before you tighten them up because you don't want it to cross thread. And then you've got to get the socket out again, which is isn't easy sometimes. Right, that's all three chains now. Just gotta put the um, coil packs back on, bolt it up, put the air filter, change the air filter, put the air filter cover back on, and I've got to tackle the oil filter, which is. Oh, you can see it actually, it's just. It's down there, but I've got to jack the car up to get to it. And you can tell the difference clean, dirty. That's the air filter box back on. So I've got to check the oil now, and. Uh, Put a new sump bolt in. Ah, that's drained out now. Obviously I'm going to dispose of the oil responsibly. The recycle centre. Right, there's the oil filter and I can't turn it by hand so I'm going to have to either use a big pair of grips on it or stick a screwdriver through the barrel of it and try and turn it. Big pair of grips. And it turns. Right, I got the filter off. And let it drain off a bit and then uh, put the new one on. I always put a bit of oil in the uh, um, washer as well before you put it back, just helps it seal. Right, that's the new filter on. Uh, you don't have to put it on that tight, just hand tight because the pressure seals it until the next time you're ready to change it. Just got to fill it up with that now. So, just to be precise, the Citroen takes 3.1 litres of oil, so I'm using a jug from the kitchen. Shh, don't tell Christine. Right, oil's in. Filled up, 3.1 litres, just give it a, a run now and uh, let the oil go round and then check the level. Now she's running, so I'll let her run for a few minutes and then check for any oil leaks and then check the dipstick. So yeah, stop my bouncing. The oil's fine. So I'll put it back together and that's one job done. And that's the engine service done. Happy days, runs like a good one. Right, let's have all these daytime running lights. They just slip into the uh, where the indicator goes on on the back, and the bulb holders. Oh yeah, the bulb holders that are in there now <coughs> come into there. You obviously need a power source, an ignition power source, so. When I did the other lights on the front that I took off because they were crap, that's an ignition feed, that block connector there. So I've already got a, a live in there, there for when the, power, when the ignition's on, that's powered. So 
So it should be straightforward this now. Just got to get the uh, ball poles out. So I've got to get. You can see it, that little connector out by lifting that uh, wire that was across, and that's that's just an unclip. So let's just see how we get on. And that's it out. I seem to have um, lost a spring though. Oh well, don't mind. Well, I've just wired one in. I'm going to fix that little resistor thing there on the bodywork and tidy it all up. Let's just see if it works. Put the ignition on and the lights are on. So when I put the indicator on now, that should go out. Indicator's on. And there we go. Not bad for a tenner off eBay. So I'll just wire the others in and uh, pull the other side in, all this, the other side, and then tidy it all up. And that's it. All tidied up. That's a bit of a mess, but it's still tidy, so I'm going to go anywhere. Done. Done. Test something out when it's dark. As the lights are on, and the lights go out, let's turn the lights off. Lights are on again. Good stuff. Popped up for that. <laughs>